everybody, welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by tutvid.com. Today we're going to talk about the statistics feature in Photoshop. We're also going to touch on stack modes. Um, now, statistics sound incredibly boring, and to a large extent they are, but they're really powerful and they're really easy to use, and it's definitely something you should know how to do. Now, before we get going, uh, our sponsor is graphicstock.com. In April of 2016 is the Creative Rewards Month. You can go over there and sign up uh, for a new Graphic Stock account and get six months of Graphic Stock for just $39. Graphic Stock, by the way, it's this great online library of all kinds of stock photography, vectors, illustrations. You can download whatever you want, as much as you want. No limitations. Keep them. They're royalty free. You can use them for whatever you want um, and all that good stuff. There's a link down in the description of this video. So let's uh, well, let's jump back over to Photoshop first and foremost and let's check this out. So, well, if you noticed in the Adobe Bridge, um, I have a bunch of sequences of images. So we're going to begin with this overpass, uh, the series of overpass images. And the goal here is is if we flip through these uh, overpass images, the goal is to get rid of the traffic, right? So I was shooting from this overpass, and it's a fairly busy little four-lane road here. Um, I want to get rid of all that and just have an empty road during daylight. Statistics will allow me to do this very quickly and easily. Now, other applications would be obviously like if you're uh, on vacation and you want to take a photograph of some very popular site, but there's no possibility of seeing it empty without a bunch of tourists standing in the way. Shoot 10, 15, 20 photos, whatever it takes to get all of that detail captured like underneath the cars, right? I need that little bit of road. So let's see this image here. You can see I would have that little bit of road. So you want to capture a, a bunch of photos. Here, I think eight photos will do it for us. So let's go file. We're going to go scripts and we're going to choose statistics and I'm going to choose well first of all I need to choose a stack mode I'm going to go with median um, variance down I pretty much ignore I've, I honestly have never used them for anything I've never found something to use them for I'm sure there's something to use them for uh, but they're just not my thing median kind of it does the best job of mixing all the photos and getting and gets rid of pixels that are like different from image to image maximum combines the images and saves like the brightest parts of a lot of images uh, that can be great if you want to like multiply images of star trails on top of another and on top of one another over and over and over again same thing if you're doing like urban photography maybe at night and you've got a lot of car headlights that are trailing all over the place and you really want to intensify that effect minimum just um, copies and doubles up like the darkest pixels and darkest areas of an image summation well you can actually check everything out over in Adobe's help documents. You can see they've got entropy, uh, kurtosis, maximum, mean, medium, minimum, and everything they do. And some of them you can see they're pretty complicated. So I don't really want to waste time getting into all of that here. Here's what you need to know. Median is the best for doing what we're going to do. Maximum works with the light pixels. It's almost like using the lighter blend mode. Minimum works with the darker pixels. It's like using the darken blend mode. In this instance, we're going to go with median. We're going to use files. We're going to browse. And from all of these raw files, I'm just going to choose overpass 1. Hold down my shift key. Choose overpass 8. Hit open. Boom. They've all stacked into there. I'm not going to choose attempt to automatically align the source images because I was using a tripod, so I don't need to worry about that. I'm going to hit OK. And Photoshop's going to take a minute here and just process all the information, get them all merged together, and you're going to have a, a finished image in just a second. Bump, 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 and you can see here we have a finished image. Pretty cool. This is, in fact, all of those images combined, and all of the moving objects, all the cars are gone. I don't have to go in and heal anything. I don't have to clone stamp anything, nothing. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty powerful. You can see it gives us a smart object. If I double click on the smart object, um, well, it's going to open up here. You'll see a PSB file. It's reading this large document format. It's eight raw files that are, you know, 21 or 23 megapixels or something that have all been mashed into this one uh, document here. So it's going to open it up, and we can see sure enough it's all eight of our images and they're all stacked one on top of another uh, they don't have blend modes applied or anything like that so let's talk about this we've done this with statistics boom it's done there's actually another way that we can do something very very similar and maybe have a little bit more flexibility in a tutorial that I did just a couple days ago we talked about the file scripts load files into stack um, we're gonna do that again we're gonna do it here I think with this same series of images I do have a couple of the series that I shot but we know what we're working with here so we're gonna grab over overpass one hold our shift key overpass eight hit open great I'm going to tick on create smart object after loading layers um, you're gonna see what this is gonna do it's gonna bring them all into Photoshop and they're gonna be mashed into a smart object just like our uh, our little image that we applied the statistics uh, command to and there, once it has loaded into Photoshop, you can see that we essentially have exactly what we have in the other image, except, of course, well, in this image, we still have all of the traffic. We have that one smart object. What we can do with this now is go layer, smart objects, and choose a stack mode. And look at this. 
the stack mode options largely are the same as uh, the the options or the stack mode options in the statistics dialog box. And sure enough, if we go with something like median, which is what we did before, we're going to get uh, a, a beautifully rendered image that gets rid of all of uh, all the traffic, as you can see. Um, and now what we can do is just compare it with the other image. And look at that. It's like the same exact image. Let's undo that, however. So just I hit Command Z. That'd be Control Z on the PC. Let's try something else. Layer Smart Object Stack Mode. Let's go with Minimum. So this is going to preserve the darker pixels um, between all of our images. And look at this. We have all sort of these dark, shadowy versions of the cars where they don't really have their headlights on. Um, and just the pixels that are dark are preserved. Let's undo that. What if we do like Layer Smart Objects? stack mode uh, maximum, which which should do the brighter stuff, right? We should see a bunch of car headlights. And sure enough, we have a bunch of car headlights and also like the bright roofs of these cars streaking down the highway. So stack modes and the statistics feature in Photoshop, both are equally powerful in different ways. Um, with statistics, you can see you can just go in and kind of process a batch of images uh, like that very, very easily. Um, it takes you know a little bit of time for it to work together. And then with stack modes, you can just bring everything into Photoshop as a stack, combine it into a smart object, and then use any one of what here they are, any one of these smart object stack modes uh, that you wish. Um, and then actually, you can see I can just go none. And check it out, we're back to where we began. Oh, which reminds me, over here when we are using the statistics command, we can also go layer, smart objects, and change the stack mode, right? That's part of the reason why before I mentioned that we have the smart object, and remember, if you open the smart object up, it's just, well, the stack of images that we imported. So you can always change this from median to something like mean, and if we give it a second to render, you're gonna see, like I mentioned before, mean, it does kind of average everything out, but you can just sort of see the ghosts of all of those cars riding down the highway. So that's statistics in Photoshop, and that is uh, the stack modes in Photoshop. So four statistics and four stack modes in Photoshop, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, Tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.